Hello, my name is Nick Picard. I'm a software developer for DataLocker. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the added functionality and safety features you get from managing your encrypted USB drives using Iron Key EMS or DataLocker Safe Console. I have about a million passwords to remember, and if your users are like me, there's a good chance they're going to forget it. Now, if you're using a management solution, your users can remotely reset their passwords without losing their data. Here's how it's done. Using Safe Console, the user can reset their password with the help of the administrator. The first thing they'll have to do, plug in the device and run the software. The user then goes action, forgot password, at which point they are presented with a password ID. The password ID will need to be sent to the administrator either by email, over the phone or in person. Once the administrator has the password ID, they need to find the device, go reset password, enter the password ID. The administrator is now presented with a server response code that he'll need to get back to the user, either by email, over the phone, or in person. Once the user has a response code, they can enter it here. Next, change the password. And then unlock the drive with the new password. And there you have it. The user now has access to their data. Using Iron Key EMS, your users can reset their passwords without the help of the administrator. First thing you'll have to do, plug in their device and launch the software. And then they'll click password help and confirm. At this point, EMS has sent my user an email with a recovery code and instructions on how to reset this password. If he does not have access to his email, he'll need to contact the administrator. Go to the inbox, find the email. He'll then click the link. And now he's presented with a security question that was created when the drive was first issued to the user. Answer the question correctly. And now you have access to a recovery code. Select, copy, and paste here. Next thing he'll need to do is to change the password. And there you have it. The user now has access to his data.